I recently caught up with Fiona Balfour, who is an independent non-executive director on a number of boards. Prior to that, she was a CIO for Qantas. Fiona moved to boards after 14 years, huge role and heavily operation focused responsibility. So this got me thinking, how do you move from such a, a big operations focused role into then a governance board position? So the transition took a little while. It's not a it's not a natural transition. I think it took me the first three or four years to really become as competent and proficient as being a director as I had been as an executive. So you've continued growing Absolutely. and learning. Absolutely, yeah. You have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And there are different skills too. You know, as an executive, if there's a, if there's a problem to solve, um, you go get your resources, your people, your project plan, and you go execute. But there's a problem to solve as a director, so you can't do so much other than, um, you know, guide, warn, encourage. Yeah. Um, one of the few things you can do as a director is go get a new chief executive, but I mean, that's the nuclear option and yeah. you, it's not the first thing you should do, it's the last thing you should do. Yes. I, I, I joined the board of a charity, the National Breast Cancer Foundation. I'd been a nominee on a, a company that Qantas had a significant shareholding in. So I was learning there, I was learning at the Breast Cancer Foundation. Okay. I joined the board of my son's school, doing more learning there. And then I went and did the company directors course at Institute of Company Directors. And did you find that useful? Oh, it, it, it's, again, if you've come out of a listed big company environment, it, it wraps a context around it. And, yeah, and I found it um, fun and useful. So I, I went and did that and then started speaking with people and let people know that um, I was available for, for board work. Fiona often talks about doing your best, which is absolutely key that applying yourself is the trait of a really strong leader. The very best days in your professional life are always as an executive. Okay, okay? why, why? Oh, because you've done it, you've executed it, your team's done it, you've been part of a very big team. They're joyous experiences, they're really great, and, and months of work goes into it, and it's really, really satisfying. Yeah. The worst days as a director are probably the worst days in your whole career. You know, if, if something has just gone so wrong, you have to make an announcement to the stock exchange or, you know, there's been some horrible issue that you have to deal with by um, removing someone from the business or... Um, so I, I think, you know, the further up the, the governance structure and the organisation you go, the intensity does change yeah. with each yeah. level. But, you know, I mean, I, I enjoy being a director now. I'm in a team of five now. I'm not in, I'm not leading a gang of 200 people or a yeah. thousand people. Um, so, by definition, the emotional reward is at a different scale. Yeah, I'm it's, sure. a, it's as simple as yeah. that. From our conversation, the key things are around integrity and accountability and how these two tra traits are key to leadership. So if there is truth in the saying, lead by example, then I can't think of a better example than Fiona.